Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Fury. Took a little break because my computer filled up again. You've got to move on now. Don't overthink it. That's what they want you to do. Can I go up here? I totally can. Can I meet the boy whose father I have presumably killed? Oh god. If he really loved him, why did he come here? Why did he ever become a guardian? Presumably about uh, that guy. Yeah, being a guardian doesn't exactly seem like a great deal. Is the entire job description just that you gotta keep this guy in jail? The things we do for love. You know, when I started this LP, I was kind of hoping, like... Upstairs. Arrogant, self-righteous, and cool. That's her. Oh, boy. She started it all. She even got me locked up. Interesting. Weird that we're going through her... You're going to see her little right show the out there. All this nobility and self-sacrifice. But really, she's just trying to clean up her mess. Just remember, she's messing with your head. Don't listen to her. Interesting. <laughs> Are we in a... Is this going to turn into a fucking Shin Megami Tensei fight? Feel it in your heart. Your anger. Your instinct. You don't belong here. And give her a good kick from me. Sure, man. Whatever you say. Walk with me. It was all a mistake. The cell, the restraints, the guardians. Oh. We can make this hey. right. You can't go to my world, but you can be free here. Look at what I'm offering. Oh, this just stay on this little home. thing. I'll take care of you. I mean, this is in and of itself a I'll tell prison. you the tales of my world. You will tell me yours. It's a nice looking prison. So and I'm not tortured all day. Here. But this isn't actually... Stay with me. <laughs> if you Why auto walk, it just... You just What's keep on like going. Here? If you go any further, I have no other choice, and you even less than me. Like, yes, it's a nice place, but if I can't go anywhere else and I don't have the choice to do anything, I just stay here, and then it's still a prison. Are you a prisoner too? How dare you shun me? Are you are you huffing your own bullshit here? You have no idea. I was your only hope. I love. How you have brought this upon yeah, yourself, shit. stranger. Really? I brought this on myself when a bunch of people put me in prison and then offered me a bad deal? And I was like, I don't want your bad deal. I'll make you stay. Very simple. Oh. Arena. Ah. Oh god, you can fall off that. She can't. She can fly. You can probably parry that. Reset. Why did I do that? Should've known. Hurt you, but it's real. 
too early. You totally can! That is actually some Devil May Cry shit. You can do that in Devil May Cry 5 against Virgil. Of course, I'm probably gonna die now, but. Why so stubborn? Just go back. Oh. There is no better outcome. She doesn't have CQC. Music by the Toxic Avenger. Because I noticed the music sounds a little different in this phase of the fight. And I was like. I wonder if there's a different controller. Yeah, there is. Very interesting, because, like, it makes sense, and it only works in this kind of game where you have such little content, but each thing is so refined that you could literally put the composer of a certain track on the screen. Block that, or maybe you can't. I fucked up the time. What more could you possibly ask of me? Oh, actual freedom instead of bullshit. Oh my god, jeez. I'm not looking at her, that's dangerous. Oof a doof. How hard could it have been? You ruined it. Sorry, it looks like I passed through that at some point. You know, your violence and proficiency for it shows that you really so do, in arrogant. fact, want to hurt me. How many times do I you just want to make me feel like the bad guy. Right. You know, that is classic toxic behavior. Oh, I passed through it because I got high. That's what I was thinking about resetting, but I might be able to make it. Especially if she doesn't go into CQC. Like, if that's just her mechanic, that's cool. And, like, kind of a shame. Because then you miss out on CQC, but, like... Damn. Please, don't give her the pleasure. I'll make you stay. Man, now, now we're getting into some fucking... This is some for real. Like, on God, fucking bullet hell stuff. Like, this feels more bullet hell than all of the other ones. This is the halfway point of the game once I beat her, actually, now that I think of it. Of the main game. Because there is a DLC. Whoops. Damn, that sucks. A little cycle hurting there. Yo. Can't parry that, right. Reset. 
I'll make you stay. Ah! Oh, I was between the things. That's kind of funny. Let's see. Good, my man. I kind of like how the stranger's design doesn't actually make any sense. Like, he's got those things that Rob Liefeld loves to draw, where like they look like head protectors, and it's totally not clear what at all they do. Just go back. There is no better outcome. He's got his cool like cape that's like kind of a cape and kind of a poncho. He doesn't have shoes, but like. With, with all the other, like, shit that you see on him, you can tell that he's, like, tactically barefoot, you know? Damn. The beginner's luck is full real in this game. I got so far on that first try. Oh god. Damn. I can I okay, I can make it. How hard could it have been? You ruined That'll it. make it harder though. I forgot that her health was back up. Uh I took a break to clean my cat box. Well, I have two cats, they each have a box. And they both go in the other one's box because that's how they be. But you're supposed to have at least one cat box per cat. You made me do this to you. Oh, you can't can. hurt you, but I will. Earlier I was thinking, wouldn't it be great if you could hit left trigger to dodge? Because then you wouldn't have to take your hand off the button to, to shoot or aim. Or you could more easily charge stuff. Okay, no, I don't think you can do it again. And you can, you can just hit the left trigger. That's useful. I shouldn't be trying button in the middle of a boss fight, but on in my defense. It's not like I have a time in this game that's not a boss fight to try stuff. Every time it feels so fucking good. Come on, you've only got one little tip left. Thank you. Just go back. There is no better outcome. In the game Devil May Cry 4, the character Nero has a move called Buster, where he can grab enemies. And every single enemy in the game has a unique animation for it. Two in fact. And that's kind of how I feel about the parries in this. Because so far, everyone does have their own unique parry animation. And part of that's because, like, these are bosses, and normally, you know, a boss would have their own unique animation for a special you attack like that. But in this case, we don't have 
normal enemies to compare to. That was dumb. So if I start here, I'll still get hit. Have a little Harry Potter beam fight here. I really feel as though I'd have just this fucking default shit pistol, you know? How hard could it have been? You've ruined it. Charge shot her out of the dash. That's really useful. I love that. I'm glad because the charge shot is like my least used tactic. Besides like the charge dash, but like I don't really have much of a reason to use the charge dash. Because the charge the charge sword is like, just as... Not just as good, but, like, it still gives me the same movement shit. Nice. You made me do this to you. Oh, when I you parry, you get hurt. You. But I, will. I guess probably for that one specifically, but... Didn't have time for the charge. Hit her! What Thank more you. could you possibly ask of me? Sorry, I'm getting caught up on trying to parry this stuff. I was also uh, hitting the wrong button to do so. Fuck me. So arrogant. How many times do I have to make you fall to realize I was right? You know, superior violence does not prove uh, correctness. I don't feel like I know what I'm supposed to do on those. Oh! That's interesting. Oh man. You don't realize how much I sacrificed. Okay, cool. That was really close. That was really, really tied in there. Bigger arena, that's not good. Hmm. Melee? That's completely new. Is she gonna get CQC? That was hard to grab somebody with a sword, because the sword requires forward movement. Ah, I see. Now I've got it. I understand completely. You have to dash from place to place. You bring nothing but destruction. I was trying to get in. I offered you a way oh, out of fuck. Now all I, can do is I was trying to get in so in hard. Time. 
But see, that's the thing, because sometimes... It's not that I, uh... It's not that I've taken damage. It's the fact that I have taken damage, and that throws me off my game. Because now I'm like, shit. You know? I can't wait to beat this game so I can safely watch an all bosses speedrun of this without spoilers. And like, not that this game of all games is gonna have a lot of spoilers. Come on, you're so cool. She does! No, not Baldur's Gate. Too human. That's what I'm thinking of. If I remember correctly, Too Human is the game where you play as a guy named Baldur. And uh, the game over screen is this angel, like, carries you off to Valhalla, and it takes agonizingly slow to do so for whatever god name. Two Human was also the game that killed, uh, the guys that made Eternal Darkness. Boy, is that a shame. Bad trade, you know? In Total Darkness 2? Nah, too human. I want a mediocre, like, RPG that kinda is about Norse mythology. But not really, though. Alright, now we in. You can see I'm trying, but I'm just too early. So my damage is good. Fuck. Please don't give up. Working on it, man. I'll make you stay. See, the interesting thing about games like this, or any game with a rally mechanic is that even though you have mechanics built into the game to rely on getting back health after being hit, you made me do this to you. I didn't want to hurt you. But max level play will still rely on not getting hit. Like in Bloodborne, yes, there's a cool mechanic to get back all of your health. But the shit that people want to see is people who play the game and don't lose any health at all. That's what they really want, you know? And that's fine. It's why you need to get make getting hit a completely different thing, why like so um, Royal Guard and Just Devil May Cry, no where you can block uh, attacks and then turn them into the strongest attack yeah. ever. that Go back. It's very interesting that um, like this boss knows that she's not going to be cooler than the other bosses and so tries to be interesting by being like giving you an out. Got a little hurt around a little bit more. What more could you possibly ask? Cool. Of
forgot my my parry training. You may do this to you. I believe Matt McMuscles originally said this, but like, as long as you have a really good like parry system in your game, your game will always have something cool. You know? You don't realize how much I. I think you said it in regards to, to Castlevania this. Lords of Shadows. I think it's just Lord of Shadows. Or Lords of Shadow, singular? I forget what it's called. But it's the Castlevania reboot. Because they wanted to take Ega's role out of it. Shit. And that game has a cool, perfect parry system, and like, it feels good, you know? And like, that's kind of what happens whenever you have fucking enough money sunk into anything. It'll, it'll be good. Like, it was, the 2015 was the year that Undertale came out. But it was also the year that um, Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain came out, and like, Yes, Undertale was good. Not as good as Delta Rune is, but it's all right. Oh, you gotta get in. Should just dodge it. Fuck, man. I offered you a way out of your cell. Now all I can do is bring you back into it. Anyway, point of order. There is no substitute for just pure money dollars sometimes. Speaking of, by the way, I finally found out what happened to Charles Barkley shut up in Jam Guide. Uh, for those unaware, there was this really weird but really surprisingly good, like, joke RPG made uh, using assets from a game called Charles Barkley Shut Up and Jam, which is, a, like, I think the basketball fighting game, if that's, or no, I'm thinking of Shaq Fu. Charles Barkley Shut Up and Jam is just a basketball game. Shaq Fu is a basketball hybrid fighting game. Damn. You bring nothing but She's so fast, I have a lot of trouble with her, uh, with predicting her. Like, you kind of just gotta read her mind. Oh, man. I really don't like this. Alright, get me out of here. Yeah, you can. Damn it. See, they have a little invisible wall to prevent you from falling off. But you can dash off, and that's really annoying because it means that you have to really watch your dash. And I know that, like, that's a huge gameplay mechanic in this video game that I'm playing here, but. Start fresh. Baby, do 
this to you. I didn't want to hurt you, but I will. That's every time that's so fucking. Why so Next. stubborn? Just go back. There is no better outcome. Fast to get hit. That's not shit. Still can't block it. I should stop trying. Who'd imagine? Feel like I'm talking about best friends or boss. But there was this really funny quote from uh, the stream of Demon Souls. Where, uh, How hard where he's have like, been? is there a you secret kill where you, like, catch this guy's sword? And Pat says no, and Matt's like, yes, but no one's ever done it before. Just, just nerve. Anyway, Charles Barkley, uh, guy. So, yeah, it was just a basketball game. And so, for whatever reason, these people use the assets from it and a bunch of other games to create the unofficial sequel to Space Jam. You may do this to you. I didn't want to hurt you, but I will. Um, and for whatever reason, it's still a really, really good like RPG that just happens to feature Charles Barkley as the main character. Like, the monsters from Space Jam. I, I thought so the health arrogant. that I had gotten would have helped me. How many times do Damn. I have to make you fall before you realize I was right? God that one. Anyway, they asked for a Kickstarter for Charles Barkley 2, like Go back. probably almost a decade ago. Um, and then, like, a couple months ago, by your times, uh, someone made a post on Itch.io, and he's like, Hi, I'm one of the secondary devs of Barkley. And yeah, basically what happened was, they asked for the Kickstarter, and they did not ask for enough money. It's like, you have to imagine, like, if developing this game is your job, then you need to pay every member of the team at least minimum wage. And like, European minimum. The, the actual minimum amount of wage that you need for it. How long is developing this game going to take? Well, if it's like three years, then your asking price on Kickstarter needs to be three years of livable wage multiplied by the dev team. And I believe their team was like eight, and they just did not ask for enough money. Because putting games on Kickstarter was still new. No, like, it wasn't really done on. I just didn't dodge there. 
Oh, where I'm aiming is where I dodge as well. And so I'm fucking up my, my dodge by how I aim. Did it perfectly that time. You know, I've all, it's often been said, people are like horses. We go where our head comes. And for whatever reason, my college professor said that all the time. I don't really know why, like, that was the example he, he used for, like, get someone to look at something and it'll help them focus on it. Like, I don't know why that was his example of all things, but, like... Oh, good. I didn't even dodge there. I just hoped that it wouldn't hurt me. So cool. The fact that she has multiple attacks and you have to parry the last one, but you can get the health back earlier. You made me do this to you. I didn't want to hurt you, but I will. Come on, get her. Just get just a little bit left. Oh, we cool. It worked. How much I sacrificed to bring you this. No, we don't. <laughs> I'm starting to get the, the timing on that attack. Starting to. Completely there yet. Stop this right now. You bring nothing but the Radical. Anyway, then the other thing that happens with uh, coding happens. They coded something for like hours and days and months. Really, they had a build running for like a couple of years. And then the thing that happens with coding happens. They realized, oh god, we're doing this in a stupid way. And we could do it more efficiently if we did it like this. Because what do you do? Do you like, well, let's throw out the last four years of work. Or do you like, well, let's code with this inferior shitty so system much. that we have. You will stop at nothing, right? What do you do? It's a bad choice. And when you've already, like, spent all your money, like, it's a bad thing to be like, well, yeah, all that money that we spent, it was so that we learned that we've been doing it wrong. That was what the money was for. It was so we could find out that we've been... Oh my god. Jeez. Lady, you bring nothing but destruction. Okay, Fuck. I offered you a way out of your cell. Now, all I can do is bring you back into it. All the enemies are so like up on their high horse that it feels really good Such to kill them. Waste. To be perfectly honest with you. Okay. 
Okay. I'm not going to survive past one more hit, but hey, that was cool. Oh! Oh! Fog. So much suffering, so many deaths. Of course. You're the guys who put me in here. I'm here to protect all that I believe in. You must listen to reason. There's no other way. You're so toxic. I got a little green orb, so that's good. That's the wrong button. I wanted that. I don't know if that did anything. But it makes me feel better. The glasses are sliding down my nose. We appear to be at an impasse here, madam. The, what's the green thing? Ah, I see. Mm. Might have been good to work on all these individually instead of just going straight to the big ones. Oh, here we go, huh? Holy shit, fam. Oh, God. There's four of these fucking things? <laughs> you deserve nothing more than chains and shocks. Okay, well now I, I know what the deal is. You must listen to so reason. maybe I can shoot it There's until no it turns red? Way. Oh yeah, I guess I'll shoot these. Smart, these yep, they will refilled on health. Very clever, guys. It happened again. Oh boy. Oh no, it's gonna happen. Faster happens with the sword. Oh, damn. Oh, no, don't do this to me. Curse you. Curse you. Anyway, um, after persisting in the awful I environment that they had for a little bit, the Charles Barkley shut up and Jam Guide and Two team, no like, way. all fucking quit and had a huge breakdown. And then, at the same time, the dev that wrote this post was like, hey, I'm a huge fan of Charles Garden. Charles... Jesus, Charles Barkley, Shut Up and Jam, Guide Me 1. And I'm a developer. Do you think I could help with uh, development of Charles Barkley, Shut Up and Jam, Guide Me 2?
And they were like, why, yes, you could. Because, you know, they wanted somebody to... There's so much shit I have to look at. Come on, please. Wait, that's just... It's not over? No, 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 no! <laughs> the pit! Sorry, normally one wouldn't be able to see me get all heated during this. Don't give it. God, the changes that this arena goes through might be the biggest. Starting to get all sweaty again. Anyway, as that dev learned, uh, the team had been like trying to develop this game without any money on their own time for free for years now. And then attempted to develop the game for free on his own time without money for a couple of years after that. And then eventually it just got to a thing of like, this isn't going to happen. And that was a couple of months ago. But as I'm recording it, this happened last week. And it's a damn shame. Charles Barkley showed up in Jam Gaiden is a game that I've actually thought about LPing. Because I do have a playlist that is just like all weird RPGs. And granted, there are some games that aren't RPGs strictly in it. Like, one is coming up that's going to go in there. Um, but like, in terms of weird RPGs, I would say a fan-made sequel to Space Jam, starring, uh, Charles Barkley and the son of... Who's that guy's son? Oh yeah, the ghost of Bill Cosby's in that game as well. And he's the ghost dad. I bet people love this boss. Hmm. Why so stubborn? Just go back. There is no better outcome. You know, it's often been said that the most dangerous phrase in the human language is it's all we've always done it this way. Now granted, I think that's a stupid thing to say, because you know what, sometimes there is a right way to do something. Like, you're not gonna shake up the paradigm of like car manufacturing by saying what if this gasoline powered engine ran on grapes you know you're not just gonna pour a bunch of shit in the engine and have it work because sometimes there are things that are just done this way and that's the way that you do them end of fucking story but the, the thing with that is that you're working on the paradigm of I'm gonna do this the same way don't put grapes in a fucking gas engine. Make an engine that actually runs on grapes from the ground up. And then you'll probably be assassinated by big oil because that's the way that it works. Um, you made me do this to you. I didn't want to hurt you, but I will. Anyway, my point is, you just keep throwing me in prison and you're like, okay, this time he'll stay in there. And like, really guys? could it have been? I don't really think that's the case. Kate told me this. In Germany, it is not a crime to break out of prison. So if you're in prison for doing a crime and then break out, you don't get anything added back onto your sentence. Wave. 
Can't block that one. Why'd you try to? You know you can't block it. You tried to. I think it bears repeating. I don't really like using the gun as much. The sword has so much impact and it feels good to use, you know? But with the gun, it's, you know, it's, it's weak by its nature, but it's not even a gun that fires, like, anything metal, like a bullet. Because then you could get, like, boom, 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 like, cool bullet gun noises. But that's not the case. I don't think my wife could play. She's beaten every Dark Souls game, but like she doesn't like uh, range stuff at all. Like it was a fight to get her to try magic in DS2. And, like she used it because the magic in DS2 is useful. And because armor is less useful in DS2, it's good to have uh, stuff to fall back on. Because that's what she used it for. She used it for uh, healing. How many times do I have to make you fall before you realize I was Fuck. right? How hard could it, it is have been? Downright you demoralizing moved. to see that health bar just fill all the way back up. Got the health off of it. That's something that is like. You made me do this to you. I, I would argue that's kind of a rich get richer system, but considering this game is just supposed to be as hard as they can make it, that's fine. You know, sometimes a system like that is fine. Oh, cool. How much I sacrificed to bring you this. What's Dude, that's not cool at all. The pits in this fight are really annoying. Because almost everything has been, like, more cool than, like, obnoxiously video gamey. But, like, the pits in this fight are not fun. Like, I feel like they could have area denial in this manner without having a pit. And it would feel better, you know? Because 
Because, like, you just feel like a fucking jackass for falling into a fucking pit. Eternally, you know? I'm out of the game. I shouldn't have tried to get in so hard. I offered you a My way God. Out of now all I can do is bring you back into it. And again, I don't feel like this fight is harder than the other one. I'm definitely being impatient. Stop this right now. God, the fucking pit. Let me over here. God damn you. See, I typically pride myself on keeping my composure in my own not the case in this one as much. Risky. Right? But hey, we, we made Such it though. A go through all those fucking towers. And that's not the end of the fight. That she still has a fucking phase after that. Curse you! Oh, I'm losing it! Fuck, man. Put me down. God, fuck you, damn. Why am I not dodging? I am hitting the dodge button. I don't understand what's happening. getting actually upset. Pardon me. I actually can't think of an episode of anything where I've gotten like legit Maybe Halo. That was a wild one. I mean, it doesn't help that the boss is such a sanctimonious prick about it. May as well be requesting that water dance.
And let's be honest, this game is extremely fair. The problem is me. Still can't dodge it. I mean, block it. Gotta dodge it. Go back. I hate running for health items in this game. Uh huh. This is a practice mode? Oh, I have to die, don't I? Before it'll let me change the fucking How hard could difficulty. It have been? You ruined it all. Look at you. I guess I'm learning. And yes, I am considering changing the difficulty because I have been on this fight for longer than a fight I've been on, longer than any fight I've been on so far. At least for like this phase where I'm still getting tripped up on and shit. I'm like, I just want to get back to the you earlier made me do this to you. phase. It's I the didn't want to hurt you, but I will. You know, on the other hand, I could be sweaty because I have a fever. That might be it. I did realize that I'm sick, have been for, for a couple of days. Go back. I feel like such a schmuck picking up health items. Like, this fight just whittles you down, you know? Thank what you, more Jesus. Could you possibly ask of me? Too early. You made me do this to you. I didn't want to hurt you, but I will. Oh, that's fun. There's only her water projectiles are running around. There you go. You don't realize how much I sacrificed to bring you this. One thing that is kind of annoying is that getting perfect parries off requires you to be able to see the character very, very clearly. And so it's way easier in CPC mode. And it's kind of a shame. Like you want to get it every time, you know. Stop this right now. You bring nothing but destruction.
the fucking You're one peg. So much. You uh, stop one peg parry, right? man. Such a waste. Yeah. Does the purple do the purple balls home in on you in the shape of like a heart? That's almost what it looks like. Last phase. If I don't get her this time, I am giving up. So many deaths. I'm here to protect all that I believe in. You must listen to reason. There's no other way. This, this one's the worst one. I kind of wish that it would come on later. Ah, come on! What's happening? I, it's so far away, I actually cannot see what I'm doing. I was wrong. You deserve nothing more than chains and shocks. Let me up. I'm here to protect all that I believe in. You must listen to reason. There's no other way. So on the topic of thinking about how anime this game is, this game is not necessarily like more anime than like an actual anime. But like I was thinking it is more anime than like any other anime video. Because like think about the typical anime fighter. Like, they all have that kind of vibe like an arena fighter. And like, man, it would be so much cooler. That's cool. That you can zigzag through it, you can go through the diagonal. That's useful. Imagine if like the next like My Hero Academia game comes out. And it's like just this insanely difficult fucking Dark Souls level like game where people are like complaining on Twitter about how they can't beat it. And like there's no reason that for a licensed game that they have to go that hard. But they do, just because. And like, that's how cool that would be. I curse you. Alright, 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 alright. You are so blind. Fuck me! No, don't do you're a fucking you. asshole. I'm here to protect all that that I believe sucks in. so you hard. You must listen to reason. Like, There's there, no other I, way. I don't feel as though there was anything I actually could have done to prevent my death. Like, every little fucking thing in this fight was just whittling me down. Again, camera so far away. Like I know it's cool and stylistic, and it means that they don't have to make the camera be like controlled by the right sticks. But it is hard for me to see what my character is supposed to be fucking doing. All right, change the difficulty. 
Don't give her the pleasure of victory. I Fuck you. Always... I'll replay it on a higher difficulty if I feel like it. <sighs> I'll make you stay. <clears throat> I made it through five fights, though. And it, again, it's not that this fight is hard. It is just really annoying. Now, I didn't actually read because I'm a Let's Player and we're not allowed to. But, like, did it say you can't change it back after this fight? Because that would make sense. Hopefully I'll be able to start from this, this asshole instead of, like, all the way from the beginning. Because, like, yes, I'll be able to do it easier, but, like... how much I sacrificed oh, to bring you this. Oh, she only has three little pegs. Wow. Okay. I have five pegs. See, I feel as though easy mode is too easy. Easy mode is too easy, and normal mode is just a little too much for me right now. I mean, I say this, but I am getting my ass beat. Put up. Is your escape worth so much suffering? So many. Deaths? I will take a break after this, though. I'm here to protect all that I believe in. You must listen to wow, me. Wow, Promenade difficulty is There's like no disjointed, actually. Like, it just skipped that cutscene in between those things. That's kind of weird, because, like, giving the boss less health makes sense, but removing their phases is way, way different, especially when the phases get cinematic. I still can't just like face tank through this. Okay, is it that easy in game? Because this if that's what's waiting for me, for the rest that's of your fine days. by me. that. Not from you. I think I saw you hesitate after the last fight. You, of all people. Why would you ever hesitate? It made me think. I like it. It gives me hope. That I'm not just a mindless super killer? This is still a very good game. Let it be known. I think I got really salty during Dragon's Dogma because that game is so fucking empty. All right. I tried so Let's see what I've got waiting for. Times to find some way out of here, but there wasn't one, except for you. I actually have to start over. Oh my god, I have D ranks on all of these. Oh my god. This game is brutal, and I want to get good and beat it. I don't want to do it on the easy difficulty, 
But if it proves too much, I will. In the interest of uh, finishing this game. <laughs> uh, because, like, at first it was like, whatever, I'm just doing things on screen. But, like, every single episode is now over an hour. And, like, woof. Uh, but from here, I'm taking a break. Uh, and not that you'll notice because these are all uploaded on different days anyways. But uh, first six of these all one day. <laughs> um, so, yeah, taking a little rest first. Maybe when I come back, I'll be fresher and uh, more inured to bullshit. But who knows? But until then, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. And this has been Fury. Please try to play this game yourself. It's very, very challenging, but I enjoy it greatly. Uh, so yeah, have a good day, everyone.